Hi, my name is Kevin James Thornton, and I'm here about to taste some 90s snacks. Choose your snack. All right, the first snack I'm going to try is called Uncrustables. All right, I don't even know what this is, honestly. Uncrustables, it's a peanut butter and grape jelly sandwich. At the bottom it says soft bread. This is already grossing me out a little bit. Oh, it feels so disgusting. <laughs> it's like a moist chamois. Actually, now that I'm settling into it, the flavor is fine. It tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with really disgusting bread. As far as like things I would eat, this is a zero. Gross. On MTV, all of the music was like hair ballads. And then the grunge thing happened and like, it was like someone flipped a switch. So I had really long hair, but then there was such a culture shock, like, wait, is that not cool? So I shaved my head. I actually bleached my shaved head and then had a silver ball necklace. Like, it was like the opposite. Everything was like sad and depressing and like we all started smoking. Chain smoking, vegan musical theater majors. That really sums up the 90s. Choose your snack. I see it's an Oreo product. I like this because it's vegan. I've never had these though, Cakesters. What was I doing in the 90s? God. I can already sort of guess what this is gonna be like, and I'm already assuming it's going to be tasty. It looks like a Oreo that died on the beach and was found four days later. Several tourists tried to help it back into the ocean, but it's too late. <laughs> This tastes alarmingly like another 90s snack called Snack Well Cookies. The 90s were an era of extreme physical fitness. And if you wanted to be healthy in the 90s, first you needed to eat as many Subway sandwiches as possible. And then there was a whole line of sugar-free cookies called Snack Wells. This tastes like a Snack Well. It's fine. I'm into it. I think if you're, in, if you're into this sort of thing, it's a good five. There were probably lots of uh, things that signaled gayness with me in the 90s. I remember, this might have been a little earlier, either very early 90s or maybe like 1989, when Taylor Swift was born. There was this Geraldo expose documentary about the homosexual. And I don't, for some reason, I recorded a lot of things on TV on the VCR back in those days, and I was recording this Geraldo special. I guess it was probably New York Pride, and they zoomed in on the crowd, and there were two shirtless men doing it in the street in New York City. And I saw that, and I was like, I'm glad I'm recording this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch this again. And I did. I watched just those five seconds over and over again. Uh, I realized when you asked if there was anything that s like signaled homosexuality, that's not even a signal, that's just... <laughs> We're just hitting the button on that one. <laughs> Choose your snack. Oh, yeah. You know what's funny is I actually, I, I never really stopped eating these. Like Target has a version of this, but it's for grown-ups. Oh wait, these are like, uh, this is pizza. Forget everything I just said. I would never touch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really super sure what to do with this because there's little crusts. They're cold. There's some sauce. Also cold. Do you heat this up? Nope. You just eat it? God, this looks like it was donated. Like I got $15 for this at the plasma clinic. <laughs> Which I used to do in the 90s. I, maybe I made it too saucy. All right, I'm putting pepperoni on it. Okay, let's find out. Oh, well, mm, mm. At first I was like, oh, well, it's pizza taste. And it's cold. It's definitely just cold. Uh, maybe a one. a one. My number one dream role was the lead player in Pippin. 
I wanted to be a triple threat so badly in college, and I was not. So we did Pippin, and they just cast a straight up dancer. Like I can act and I can sing, but I can't dance. Like this body was not made to like lift off the floor. Choose your snack. Dunkaroos. I've never even heard of these. When these came out, I chain smoked three packs of cigarettes a day. That's true. I quit 15 years ago, so I'm going to live. Stop worrying. But it did like just enough to my voice that I'm glad I did it. <laughs> okay, let's open this up. <laughs> Little communion wafers and the blood of Jesus if Jesus were filled with chocolate. <laughs> ew, ew, <laughs> ew. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, yeah. That's, that's good. Choose your snack. We're gonna dive into the baby bottle pop, blue raspberry. Okay, I see. There's that portion. And then underneath, there's some powders. <laughs> you know, in my era, they had candy cigarettes. And we're like, wow, that's really great to teach kids that. Guess we've moved into the future here, excuse me. All right, so that's a, that's a sucker? Yeah. You lick it? Yeah. I'm sorry you had to see that. This looks like something like kids at Coachella would like. <laughs> Whoa, it's tart. This is good, so this is just like a sucker, but then the powder's got like a tangy pop in your mouth. I like this one, this is my favorite so far. This one's called, oh, Jumbo Push Pop. Do you twist it? Oh, uh, God. why do you need that to happen? <laughs> I miss my dog. <laughs> I still miss my dog. <laughs> this is good, it's a sucker. If you're eating a sucker and you'd like to get stabbed in the back of the throat, <laughs> this is the perfect sucker for you. My name is Kevin James Thornton, and that's Kevin James Thornton on all social media platforms. Be sure to like and subscribe Helium Comedy Studios, and click here for more taste tests.